A Charleston firefighter tonight is in the hospital after part of a house collapsed on top of him. Thankfully, the injuries are non-life-threatening. And as News Channel 3's Matt Lackridge shares, firefighters work to get him out and how they got him to safety. With smoke pouring from an abandoned home in the 700 block of Crescent Road in Charleston, firefighters rushed to get it under control. But with firefighters inside the home, tragedy struck. The second floor collapsed. He's on the first floor. We need to continue work on the fire. We got to find a way to lift this floor off of it. Charleston Fire Department Captain John Hastings was searching the home for potential victims when the floor above him collapsed. For the next 10 minutes, firefighters will both fight the fire and dig Hastings out from the collapsed floor. Injury to the chief. Hastings has been extricated. We're bringing him out to Charlie's side. Hastings been loaded on the car. Neighbor Daniel Atkins says he saw firefighters pull Hastings from the building. He was still conscious and uh, alert, which was good, but it was just a little bit scary. You know, you never really see anybody get pulled from fires. Firefighters say Hastings is in stable condition and alert in the local hospital. Atkins says in his eyes, Hastings is a hero. He's risking his life to save other people's lives, and he's in the hospital right now, so it's crazy. The building was torn down shortly after controlling the fire. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Matt Lackwitz, WSAZ News Channel 3. Charleston. No one else was injured in that fire.